Hi, Stuart. It's Leisha. I have a question. Yes, Leisha. It's along the same way of my other questions, but I guess I just need to hear the same. I, I can't, the hear, I can't make you. out what you're saying. You have to. Okay. When you don't get the love that you need from a parent, how do you find it within yourself to love them regardless? Well, the first thing you have to realize is that parents are not perfect. Parents have lots of problems. They have a lot of emotional, mental problems, economic problems, all kinds of problems they have. And, uh, you know, they, they have to deal with that every day. And most parents really, I hate to say this, but it's, don't know how to raise children. Children just grow up. And we're stuck with the rules, the regulations, and, you know, all the different elements that they impose upon us. You know, and one of the ways to love them anyway, even if you don't get real love from them, is to just be grateful. They're the reason you're here. They're the reason you're born. You know, they were the vehicle that many would say you chose to come into the world. And learning to love them, no matter what, unconditionally, will make you into a remarkable person. You will learn how to get past other people's prejudices, uh, you know, abuses, whatever they do, and also to get past your own. And in doing that, you will become an amazing person inside yourself. It will not only be your parents, but it'll be, you know, just almost anybody that comes into your life to recognize nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Very few people in this world really know how to love unconditionally. So having those kinds of expectations, even from your own parents, uh, it it shows a kind of short-sightedness in oneself. Say, okay, this is who they are. They don't know how to love, but I can love them anyway. I can get strong enough to love them anyway. And if they don't reciprocate, then what does it matter? I'm growing, and that will attract somebody into your life who will really love you. You will have that energy inside yourself. It'll attract, you know, a relationship and this and that. You know, there's somebody that really loves you because there's room inside you to let them really love you. And I know this is not easy. It's never easy. But I also learned many years ago, nobody's perfect. My parents weren't perfect. You know, the old, the one thing I wanted to do when I was a kid was to get away from home. The imperfections of the way I was being raised drove me crazy. But the day my mother called me up, you know, and told me, you know, Stuart, I have, she had a breast tumor. Can you do your healing meditation work with me? It broke my heart. It means I had grown enough in myself to allow her to make that phone call. And then she started attending my classes. And up into that period of my life, I was literally the black sheep of the family. They refused to talk about me even. He was the nut. Gurus and traveling and hitchhiking all over the world and blah, 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 blah. I mean, you know, they used to look at me like I was crazy. But I grew inside myself to the point where it didn't matter. Love them anyway. I had to get big enough to do that. And then it attracted people into my life that, you know, where the love came to me and the gratitude came to me. And, and I was big enough to reciprocate and say thank you. So start there. And I know it's not easy, Leisha, or anyone else, you know. But... Nobody, almost nobody in this world knows how to love unconditionally. In order to do that, you truly have to have a spiritual life. 
You have to be connected to God, spirit, infinite energy. You know, that which nurtures you and helps you to grow and build a system inside that is strong enough to be able to do it with the people in your life. And the people that are closest to us are always the hardest people to do it with. We always feel guilty. We feel this. We feel that. You know, it requires an enormous inner life, which hopefully through these classes that I'm giving, I'm hoping that to help people to build that kind of an inner life. So the first thing is get out of your brain that you think your parents are supposed to be perfect. <laughs> they have so many problems. They have so many problems. Rich, poor, in between, whatever race, religion. You still, you know, you drive around the suburbs where I live, you know, out, you know, out around the city where I live. And you look at all these neat little houses there and you, you step inside any one of those houses. It's like stepping inside a major soap opera. People have no training. They don't know how to do what I'm talking about. I'm trying to help people learn how to do that. How can you have a spiritual life until you learn how to love unconditionally in this world? So start with your parents. What does it matter what they did to it? I, I think I wrote that in one of my books. What does it matter what they did to them? They're still our parents. And we have to learn to love them. It means each and every one of us has to get big enough inside ourselves to do this. And it takes an enormous capacity. You have to have a really strong chakra system. You have to be really grounded inside. The heart has to be open. You got to be, you got to allow all the bullshit that people throw at you just bounce right off you. It doesn't matter. And as you grow inside, honestly, people stop belittling you. They stop abusing you. They look at you differently. I hope that's clear because these are such fundamental elements of life that people have to get together in order to have a spiritual life. Humanity's first, building ourselves as human beings. Then, you know, it's possible for the Shakti, the spirit, the energy to come inside us and nurture us and help us to have a connection with what's infinite in the universe, a spiritual life. But the human level is essential. You know, we're here. That has to be built. And I think a very good place to start is your parents. It's one of the places I had to start. Learning how to love people that did nothing but complain about me. <laughs> My grandma did, what kind of son are you? You live a boy, you're off traveling around the world and your mother misses you. And Bob, I used to hear this all the time. But Stuart, I, can I ask another question? Yes, go right ahead. I'm just wondering, how did you manage to not let it get you down when people put you down, like your family put you down? How do you not believe them? How did I? Well, you can only you only believe it when people put you down if you feel insecure in yourself. If you have the security of who you are and your life and your, you know, your connection with spirit, nobody can put you down. It doesn't matter what people say about you. And I mean that. It, it has nothing to do with them, Lisa. It has to do with you. You've got to build that security in yourself. 
you can take care of yourself, you're economically independent, you, you know, you have friends, relationships, there's joy in your heart. You know, you have to build that inside. Once you build that inside, who can put you down? Nobody can put you down. Just stuff. Who cares? And then people stop doing it. So the first step is yourself. Building yourself inside. Getting that inner capacity to where you get rid of your insecurity, your you're being a victim of life. You're all that stuff, you know. And you can truly independently take care of yourself. You truly like yourself and the life you're living, you know. And who can put you down? Nobody. People, as I say, people even stop doing it. As they say, this extraordinary person in front of them who's totally independent, is full of love. It starts with oneself. It doesn't start with your parents or other people and what they think and say about you. Because, you know, look, it doesn't look what they did to Christ. I mean, one of the greatest beings that ever lived on the earth, you know, crucified him. And all he can say about it was, forgive them, they know not what they do. Forgive your parents, they know not what they do. So it really starts with oneself. And that thing inside us that is really secure about who we are and what we do with our life. And I don't mean ego security, because that's just a cover up for really insecure people. I mean, the heart is open, there's love, you don't have to protect yourself, you know, you live on a whole different level and building that in yourself, honestly, is what these classes are all about. Because a person who develops that himself will have a spiritual life. So if people do that to you, don't look at them. Look at yourself. Say, okay, I got to get, they're telling me I have to get stronger. I have to build a system inside that doesn't allow this nonsense to bother me. I am worthy of having an incredible life, and it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. And I've had it all my life. People are always trying to put me down and this and that and the other. And what? It's like, you know, leaves on a deciduous tree. They just all fall away. <laughs> the bark, the leaves, they all just fall away. The tree continues to grow. So if people do that, and not only Felicia, everyone, all of us, don't look at them. Look at yourself. I need to grow. They are reminding me that I haven't arrived yet. I need to grow. I need to build a much stronger inner life, one that doesn't get bothered by all this nonsense that comes out of people's mouths. And you can do it, you know? I had to do it. I did it. Does anyone else have a question? And just to finish, it'll take you so such a big way in your life. You 
I said, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are. There are always people that will try to put you down. I mean this. And at some point, you know, we have to stop looking at them. We have to learn from them. We need to grow. That's what they're teaching us. I mean, I always talk about Rudy and his mother. It was true. She always used to find things wrong with him. <laughs> so couldn't pay a therapist a thousand dollars an hour to point out the things wrong with him. My mother does in five seconds. <laughs> and he just it just bounced off of him. He learned to love her. He took care of her. He did, you know, the same thing happened with my mother, you know, my family. Does anyone else have a question? You know, I talk about these kind of things a lot. Well, I get a lot of questions about it, so I talk about it. But one of the reasons I do talk a lot about it is you've got to build the human level inside you in order to have a spiritual life. That's that open heart, being centered, quiet mind, being able to make choices, you know, not to feel like you're an abused person. To build that level inside, it's possible for anyone to do it. It's much easier to complain about all the injustices in the world. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, if there are no more questions, uh, there'll be meditation Tuesday. God bless you all. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Thank you. Yes, too. Um... Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you heard what I said. I really Thank do. you, Esther. You're welcome.